Good morning. It's Heidi, your favorite zine artist. <laughs> um, happy Saturday. I eh, I have uh, an in-person makeover today and I want to get my makeup done before she arrives. And I still need to get breakfast for my kiddos too. So I am going to see if I can do this fairly quick. So if you are catching the replay, make sure you're um, hashtagging replay so I know that you caught the video. So in my description, I said, I asked if you're overwhelmed because I am. And I hit that moment yesterday already and it's only, it was only December 1st. But I feel like a lot of it, is like probably pressure I put on my own self. Um, but I also, I don't know where the pressure comes from. It's probably more just me, but how I like react to things is I want everything to be perfect. I want to do all the things and then I put all of it on myself and then I like hit a breaking point and that's what happened last <laughs> night. I like and then usually the breaking point is when something goes wrong or something changes and I just fall apart and it's not usually a pretty sight. <laughs> um, I had to take a few moments in my bedroom by myself and a good cry and finally it was like, okay, I can get back to what I needed to do. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like that? I think it's this time of year where there's just so much going on. Um, but I think I had a lot of lists going on in my head of like, okay, I got to get this done and I got to get this done. Like, um, we had, hadn't really started our holiday decorations yet. And I luckily, we did have our tree up, but we haven't like done lights or decorations or, you know, any of that. So I knew that I wanted to get that done. And I also had, um, I had the first day of advent calendar, like the gift we were going to put in it ready, but I didn't have our advent calendar out yet because it was with all of our Christmas decorations. And so of course that was kind of a fail. I was, I told the kids, I'm like, we'll open them tomorrow. Um, so I had to worry about all the different decorations and I don't have everything to put in the advent calendar yet. So I need to do that shopping. But then yesterday, <laughs> yesterday after work, I had to come and pick up the kids to take them shopping because the older two, because they had birthday parties um, last night and tonight or today, and we didn't get a present for their friends yet. So, and then my oldest needed some new tennis shoes. And so I was like, oh, we'll just do it all at the outlet mall. Well, my husband had to work late, so I had to take my youngest along. Well, he started getting fussy while we were trying to do all that stuff. And so that was like overwhelming. And then I told you the thing that really like throws everything in, or like really makes me hit. Oh, I just put my hand all over. <laughs> um, was when there's a change or something like, whoop, didn't go the way I was expecting. Well, when we were heading to the mall, I had called my husband to let him know that, you know, we went to the outlet mall. And he said, hey, they have some leftover pizza at work. Do you want me to bring that home for supper? And I was like, yes, that would be fabulous. Because then I didn't have to worry about um, getting any supper made right when we got home. And so it all worked out great, right? Well, at least I thought it was going to work out great. <laughs> so we do our shopping, you know, the youngest gets fussy. And I'm just like, okay, you guys, we're going to head home. Dad has pizza for us when we get home. So we got down at the mall and I called him quick to be like, hey, where are you at? And we had already started leaving the town that we were in shopping. And he goes, actually, all the pizza, someone else took it home. And I'm like, and right that, that was like my little, it, it just went down the hill from there. Because I was expecting I didn't have to make supper. Because I still had to take my other kids to other, like the birthday party and other stuff going on. Let me check to see if I got it all blended. <clears throat> okay, I think I got it all blended. Um, 
And so then I'm like, oh, trying to figure out, of course, like I was in the mood for pizza after I hear, heard about it, you know, and then my youngest wanted pizza too. So then I'm like, okay, what can I do? And so I tried calling, we have two Casey's in our town, tried calling both. One, the number I had apparently wasn't working. <laughs> and the other one just kept putting a busy signal. And it was busy and it was busy. And I just started like, I don't know, everything just piled up. And I, you know, like I said, I had a list of everything else I wanted to get done this weekend, which I didn't even tell you what it was, but I was just getting so overwhelmed. I finally just hit the breaking point and I just had a freak out moment. <laughs> had to go to my room with all the lights off and just have a good cry. Please tell me I'm not the only one that has these moments where it's just overwhelming. And I do think, again, I think some of it is just that pressure I put on myself. I don't know why. Like it was so silly. Like I could have just made it a simple supper and said, you know, have PB and J. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, but the story I'm kind of saying is because I also have a lot of like Christmas presents coming in the mail every day, like packages are arriving in one package actually got kind of mixed in with all of our Christmas stuff. Look what it is. I got my package for um, my Black Friday um, purchase. And so we're gonna open that here in a second. Um, okay, I'm almost done with my quick little mic up Bible collection here. Good morning, people. I see there's people on. I don't see any comments or anything, but good morning. Happy Saturday. Let me know. Are you guys <laughs> feeling overwhelmed already? I need to take, um, I actually had, I was talking with one of my customers last night and telling her I was already overwhelmed. So sweet. She's like, just breathe enjoy all the moments. So Gail, thank you so much. That was so sweet of you last night, just to like make me remember, like enjoy these moments. Even if I'm overwhelmed, take it easy, give yourself grace, right? All of these things. So if you're feeling like that, just like remember. So before I do just a quick little eyeshadow, I am going to open up this package. Um, this actually is something I was really super excited about, and let me just make space here. Um, and it's the only thing I got off the Black Friday deal because everything else was mainly, um, everything else was like discounts off stuff that I already, I get my makeup all for free basically. <laughs> so I didn't have to do that, but I'm so glad so many of you guys took advantage of the discounts and um, got their and goodies and stuff. So this is what I ordered though. This is the holiday perfume collection and it is beautiful. Um, so if you first, I don't know how we'll start opening. So it has like that lace decal, just like, um, I'm not really decal, but cause it doesn't, it's not a sticker, <laughs> but it's so pretty. Um, but then you open it up. Oh, so this, is actually what one of our palettes look like that's available for anyone. You can use your palette credit, all that. So I'm going to open it up and there's six of them. And, um, I did bring up my computer here so I could tell you the fragrance sense of them, or at least how like Saint describes them. So basically we have, um, six solid perfumes and honestly, I really like all of them. And they changed all of them. I wish I could like put this up on a pedestal for you. Here, let's see. Do, do, do. You guys see them? It's so pretty. Um, and then they turned all of them into a fine mist perfume now. They're all one ounces. And I have the ones that were in a different collection from last year. And those ones, I just got done with one. Like it lasts for a long time. So they're all just like Saint number one, two, three, four, five, and six. I love, yes. It is, okay, the last ones, there was a little thing of sticker here and I was like, ah. This one actually, it's labeled here. So it says Saint um, 6, Saint 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Okay, so I can read it. I'm turning it this way. So Saint number 1, um, it says a scent of sentimental floral perfection layered with fruity notes and a vanilla undertone. I remember I do like um, Saint number one. Now again, you can get all these in the solid perfumes or the fine mist. This one is limited edition though, but it is still available. 
I do hope, I saw that they might make these where you can, if there's one that sounds good, they might allow, they might eventually make where you can just buy one. But right now it is a full collection. Um, number two, a heavenly scent that combines sparkling citrus, sweet tuberose, and smooth sandalwood. Um, I wish I could send like scent cards. I really wish. But if you are local, let me know and I can um, like let you yeah, spritz one and try it out. Or um, if you just like having a nice little fragrance, I honestly think they all do smell great. Um, number three is amber and a dewy freshness and a hint of musk. And I loved, we had one, an amber musk one um, from, um, from the last collection. And so this is the one I'm going to put on today. So I just do a couple squirts on my neck and then mm -hmm, this is good. I didn't realize I like amber or musk. I don't know. Like, I don't even know really what the smell of that is, but I do like it. I think it smells so good. And then there's that little bit of, um, um, it's just, it's fresh. I love it. Okay. And then number four, um, it's, let's see, where is it? Oh, I remember I really like number four. Um, so for a long time, we only had one through four. And so four was like my go-to until five and six. <laughs> but number four is, um, an alluring blend of base notes, including coffee and cocoa, hence why I liked it, complemented by the delightful sense of almond, samba jasmine, and tuberose crystal. So this one is a good one. You guys, you're really going to love all of these. I really swear. Now, number five is the one I always tell people is like coconutty. It's summer. It's so good. Um, the way they explain it. Um, is a delicate fragrance of peach and airy jasmine, which I don't really honestly smell, I guess, that evolves into a rich coconut and creamy macadamia nut, all wrapped in a layer of vanilla heliotrope, I don't know what that is, and musk, okay? So trust me, beachy, like that's what it is, coconut, vanilla, mm, that's good. And then number six, this one surprised me on how much I like it. It's what I used for my illuminator today was St. Number Six. And this one, they say, is a delicate blend of white florals combined with notes of amber woods, exotic musk topped with rich, decadent vanilla. So I think it's, I, I always like vanilla-y stuff. So it's that, but has a hint, and I say it just smells like daisies. I don't know. I think it's so good. So this is um, still available if you're interested. I think this would make a fabulous gift if you have like a mother-in-law or um, someone that you do spend a little bit more money on. Um, I want to say it was one, one, one something, um, but normally these are $25 each. I want to say it was like $130, somewhere around there. So this would normally be $150. So you're going to get, you're getting a good deal. Um, but if you really just don't know what to get for a mother-in-law or a grandma or some a sister or an aunt who really, um, likes fragrances, try this one out. It's, and it comes in this beautiful box. I just love it. Um, last but not least, let's just put a little color on my eyelids and then we're going to go. But thank you all for hanging out with me this morning and listening to me. Hopefully I didn't sound like I was just like complaining, but I just wanted to explain how I was feeling. Cause I feel like, I really do feel like I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm just going to tell myself I'm not the only one that gets overwhelmed and, you know, has meltdowns. And like, I definitely, um, some of it I take on probably too much. <laughs> oh gosh. Isn't this color pretty? This is kiss from the advent calendar. And by the way, it, that is running low. If you are, if you need yourself an advent calendar, you're going to get these 12 beautiful colors. Don't look if you want a surprise. Um, they're so good. I'm just going in with my, um, finger and just swiping it on. I'm just going to use this one color today. Isn't it pretty? And then, um, little mascara. So I am just going to reiterate, and this is for myself and for any of you also feeling the same way I am already at the beginning of the month. Enjoy the season. Take a breath, especially if you have kids at home and you're trying to do all the family stuff. Um, enjoy the craziness. Enjoy the busyness. Dig in. Breathe. And remember there's
there's always another day to get something done and it's okay. Amen. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed to, it felt like it was a little prayer. <laughs> okay, last but not least, last of my mascara. I'm still using this Cover Girl, Cover Girl, Cover Girl Organic Clean Topia, Clean Topia, I think is what it's called. Um, I'm not sure I love it. It's fine. But I'll probably try out another one some other time. It's been okay. There we go. There you go. There's my look today. I finally think I figured out my highlight color, you guys. I was between all sorts of shades going on. I got so tan this summer. Um, and then we have some new shades I was trying out, our newer highlight shades. And I was like having issues, showing texture. But I think I finally got the coverage out. On. So if you guys are having any issues with your highlight colors, your foundation colors, trying to get the right thing, I hear ya. Talk to me. Let me know if you're just saying, you know, I'm not loving how it's looking right now. Contact me. I'll help you out because I, I just went through this whole process of trying to figure out my colors. So um, I would love to help you out. So all of you breathe. Enjoy the holiday season. I'm so glad that you are here with me. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please, please, please um, check out the giveaway that I'm doing um, in my VIP Facebook group. It is good. We're helping Miss Santa Claus, Miss, Mrs. Claus, <laughs> Mrs. Claus fill her palette and I'm giving away some amazing goodies. So thank you again. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye.